We talk about Taylor Tate. Both fighters are evenly matched, but Wakeling has over twice the fights than Walker. And if I were a betting man, I'd go with the fans on this one and say that Wakeling was going to win. And let's send it up to Jimmy Lennon to get things kicked off. All right, fans, here we go. Glory kickboxing in the middleweight division. Presenting to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue trunks with red trim, he weighed in at 84.7 kilos. His record stands at 11 wins, two losses and one draw, with nine wins coming by way of knockout. From the United States, please welcome the explosive knockout artist and Road to Glory Middleweight Tournament finalist, the hard-hitting Eddie Showtime Walker. And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing blue trunks with red trim, he weighed in at 85 kilos even. His record stands at 36 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw, with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. From Beckenham in Kent, England, here is the kickboxing technician, the WKA World Muay Thai Tournament winner, and the WBC Muay Thai World Champion, Stephen the Surgeon Wakely. Once again, we're scheduled three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Yop Ubeda. Fight close. Come on. Well, the clean fight, you know the rules. No help. No elbows. No clinch in the lower back. After making one break, his break stops up the other gate. If it's a good fight, say it hands the back. Right away, we can see that height advantage for Wakeling, but uh, many times Walker has faced that same differential and used his punching to solve it. Round one, fight! Round number one, Wakeling in the red gloves and Eddie Walker in the blue. Walker's got a very tricky upper jab. He slides through the hands there, follows up with the right hand. Walker lost his last fight in the finals of Road to Glory via low kick to Mike Lemaire, who was the champion that night. And Wakeling, to no surprise, is going right after that front leg. Yeah, Walker's got to learn to check those kicks better. You know, it's something the American guys are a little bit behind on. The Dutch and the, and the Ties are way ahead of them. But Walker's getting there. He's checking them now. I'm sure they drilled on that uh, quite a bit, but that one hurt. That one landed. Yeah. Walker is a huge underdog for this fight. In fact, no one thinks he can win. He's been getting Twitter predictions of the round he's going to lose in all week. He's been retweeting them. Says it gives him some motivation. He's going to need some motivation because right now he's getting a lot of pastry across his face and his leg. Fight! Fight! I think Walker has got to do something to stop the forward momentum of Wakeling. Yeah. Because Wakeling at a distance is just making this into uh, a, a, a vision of Thai boxing brutality. That low kick hurt. Well, Wakeling is fought in Thailand quite a few times. Walker's turning the leg the wrong way on the check. You know what? This fight. It's almost over. You know, that, that leg has got to be hurting. He's got to be having a flashback to February 9th. Well, Wakeling's just going to keep kicking it and then cutting the other one. Problem is, if Walker moves in to try to throw the right hand, he plants that left foot to land it. And he's open for the low kick. Wakeling clenching up. There's a tip of the knee right on the chin of Walker. The problem with that outside leg catch of the low kick is you absorb the kick. Still hurts. Yeah. Wakeling pulling the head down. Not sure if we can actually do that. Hey. Hey. They have a three-second clinch rule, which is a technical rule. Hey. Hey. Glory. Come on, clinch. Hey, come on. Fight. Walker has an opportunity before the clinch happens. But you know what? Oh, oh he's dude. done. This fight is probably done. Over. 
He's been hitting the leg with a baseball bat yeah. 20 times. Yep, dude. Six, seven, eight. This is the kind of deja vu. This is the kind of deja vu that Eddie Walker didn't want. And he, he wakes and lands another knee right to the head. Okay, one knockdown and complete domination in that round. That's a 10 8 round for Steven the Surgeon Wakeling. Yeah, basically, you got to say by the bell on that one because these leg kicks were just chopping him down. And every other one is landing, including that cut kick right there. Wakeling just really having the advantage and understanding of kicks right here. You see him covered with a punch, and as soon as he's covered, he throws that kick again. Runs inside, trip kick, cut kick. Just standing on relentless. And Walker just doesn't know how to put his knee in the right position. You said it right, Steve. He's, he's blocking it wrong. He's turning his body instead of stopping that power. Yeah, you got to aim the knee at the oncoming shin. And there's the one that just, ow, ow, sends him crumbling. But knowing how to check a kick and being instinctively good at it is two different things. Yeah. Because the timing Second thing down. that a really, really good Muay Thai fighter with Stephen Wakeling, who got a 10-8 round in that, he's going to know how to fake and then low kick. He's not going to say, here comes a low kick and then please check it for me. He's going to try and make it as tricky as possible. He did that all round long, dominating that first round with low kicks. Stephen Wakeling in the red gloves. Wakeling now going to the body and back to the leg. Walker has switched to southpaw to protect that back leg. You know what? Wakeling found it. I think that's two knockdowns. I think that I, I, I don't see how he can continue. He can't even stand on that leg. Six, seven, eight, one time. Referee Yuko Beta is going to make him step, step out there. No, the leg. Yeah, this is uh, a big problem. Yeah, his leg's chopped up. When you find a weakness in a fighter, you keep going there. He switches stance again. Let's see I, if it helps. I wouldn't be surprised if Wakeling goes high with a head kick, though. He should. Because he's chopping him down. And Walker's thinking so much about that low kick that Wakeling could score, score a fantastic head kick knockout if he has one in his tricks. Walker jumps back in, tries to land a kick to the body. And they clinch. Fight. Oh, three knockdowns in one Four. round, and Four. this fight is over. Four. Four. Why is it got one round two? No, it's only two Seven. in this round, I think. The so one in the first. Well, two in the second. Either yeah, way, he's you're done. Right. You're right. Either way, he's done. Devastating, and it was the thing his coaches were telling us about. He's really got to work on the leg kick. He's really got to learn yeah. to block it. Yeah. You know, we're going to switch stances and try to mix it up. Mm. Obviously, it wasn't enough. Ooh. Eddie Walker's got to really learn to get that defense because everybody's going to go after that leg. But nonetheless, Stephen Wakeling comes out here and pitches a complete shutout. And he did it with the, with the low leg kick. It's a nice hand work, great patience, great timing. Walker definitely overmatched in this. Wakely taking his time, working on the spot that he knew was weak, and that was the ability to block the leg kick. Eddie Walker comes a long way on his road to glory. He was the finalist in Los Angeles. It was such an exciting final. They brought him here and gave him a glory contract. He's got a lot to learn in the glory ring, but he's off to a pretty good start here. It's a bum his leg got so chopped up. Stephen Wakeling, very happy with the result. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 38 seconds in round number two. He is the winner by way of knockout from Beckenham and Kent, Stephen, the Surgeon Wakeling. Steven, that was complete domination with Muay Thai skill, and I noticed you got a couple trick little knees in there. Were you thinking about a head kick knockout there in the second round? Um, I, was, I know he was injured with the leg, so I was just working my way through to get back to the leg. And what do you think is next for you now that you've defeated Eddie Walker? Who would you like to fight? 
Anybody in the 85 kilogram in glory? Where do you think you stand in that ranking? I'll be, I'll be at the top by the, end, by the end of next year. Let's hear it for him one more time. The surgeon, Stephen Winkling. Stephen Wakeling competes at his first time at 85 kilos, moving up, very confident at this weight, was able to cut down the smaller American with leg kicks. Walker gets chopped down. Welcome to glory, my friend.